Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. We're gonna hunt a Lunagarion in the Citadel, apparently. It's probably not. It's probably not a Lunagarion. Uh, Lunagarion, I mean Hinoa Minoto. I didn't get a very good Danko skills. Hopefully that's not gonna be a big problem. Oh. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. In fact, the spirit birds are gone. Look at that, there's no spirit birds. Oh, very cool. Everything is dead. There's no spirit birds, nothing. No endemic life. Oh, that's, this is very cool. <laughs> I... Do I have my barrels? Yes, okay. Hey, this is the first time Monster Hunter Rise has done this. Oh, plants are still here. No animals? There are still plants. Oh, what is this? Oh, very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh, there's a dead monster in every area. the Lunagaron. Is it non-stop angry? Like, what's going on? It's Curio. And there's no independent life, so we're going in without spirit birds. Is, this is like classic Monster Hunter. Right? No endemic life, no shenanigans, it's just you, the monster, your weapon. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an attack. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, this gets you a Y bug. <laughs> My palico cheated a Y bug out of nowhere. Because <laughs> there's no Y bugs on the map otherwise. Oh. 
Second sleep. Pretty impressive that we can get two of those. Uh, oops. What afflicted monsters are. Monster? I don't think it actually works. Is it gonna sleep or is it just running away?
Yeah, I don't think this actually works. Oh, it works. Oh, you can. Okay. Oh, the curio left. Can you capture them or not? I mean, I just captured this one, but I don't know if this is like a special case. Yes. Very cool. Lunar Ground Cortex Blue Core, Lunar Vermilion Hard Claw, Frostborn Hard Fang. So these are just normal Lunar Garon materials. あれは。まさか。How would you run towards it? <laughs> How would you run towards? Wouldn't you run away from it? <laughs> this? Hello? Oh, very cool. This Do 
we get a set piece battle? Or oh, is this the a normal kind of battle? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to go down there. I wonder what kind of battle it is. So in earlier Monster Hunter games, there'd be like set piece battles where it's not like in the normal arena where you chase a monster around and fight it. It's like a huge boss fight. I wonder if this game has that. Well, we'll find out. SCKC Fiorine, good to see you safe. Admiral, so that was the hunting ship you had built in the capital. Yes. Thanks to the people of Kamura, we were able to make it in time. We appreciate the assistance, Admiral, but I'm com completely confused. What on earth was that? The Archdemon of the Abyss. We talked about it before, right? The demon that rises up from the underground to destroy us all. So it's not a fairy tale. Ages ago, people in the kingdom reported a ferocious bellowing coming from deep within deep beneath them. That's when the sto that's where the story started. Back when the Admiral was a boy, his home, the place we call the Citadel today, was attacked by Melzino. Huh. People heard those same bellowing sounds then too, right Admiral? Rising up from the bowels of the earth. <sighs> as the rumbling proceeded, Melzino circled above as if waiting for something. Mm. No link was proven, but in my mind I was sure that the Ash Demon was real and that it was connected to Melzino. So when I became Admiral, I told Her Majesty and Bahari and I ordered the ship's construction. And you've been proven right this time. The Ash Demon of the Abyss finally surfaced. Is that the Curio's new host? More like true host. This latest incident has answered a lot of questions. To start with, the mysterious craters, they weren't made by Melzino at all, they are made by the Archdemon. When the Melzino, when Melzino, the Elder Dragon ruler of the kingdom, gets a whiff of something invading its territory, it goes to check it out. It was all just a gigantic turf war, basically, one, of, one that the rest of us got dragged into, but they didn't fight it out right away. The Archdemons never surfaced before, so we all assumed that the crater were Mel Melzino's doing, but come on, look at the size of them. I see, and the Curio were the Archdemon's parting shot against Melzino. They were left to feed on the surface before returning to their true host. Right, and now it's gotten all that energy from the Curio, so there's no telling how powerful it is now. The Kingdom's never been a threat, I mean it's nearly wiped it out twice, and now its number one enemy is out of the picture. All our new ship did was buy us some time. If that thing surfaces, we're toast. We mustn't give in to fear. With SCKC's help, haven't we overcome impossible odds already? Just as Kamura had to. <laughs> Can somebody else do some fighting for once? Do I have to fight all the time? How about I sit this one out? SCKC the fears. We need you to stoke the flames of your fighting spirit once more and help save the kingdom. No. No, I'm gonna eat Dango with Hinoa. You can fight the Ash Demon. <laughs> the guild has informed us that they have given the Ash Demon the name Guys Magom. Guys, 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 guys Magom, guys. With your help, we'll lay this devil to rest, guys. Mm. I've sent the Chevaliers ahead to probe the area. Once there, they'll serve as liaison with those of us on the surface. <laughs> you sent them down there? <laughs> 
you sent a bunch of dudes down there? I mean, are they dead? <laughs> do you know they're do you know they're okay? <laughs> Before that fiend finds its way back to the surface, we must take the ship to the crater and finish it. Let's move! This time, for the last time, we'll destroy the dark evil under our feet and let light fill the kingdom once more. I'm assuming that Guy's Magorm is an elder dragon. That might be a crazy assumption, but I feel like it's reasonable. Guy's Magorm. How much time? Guy's Magorm. This might be a long video. I don't know how long the fight against Guy's Magorm is going to take. Guy's Magorm is. Guy's Magorm is NA. <laughs> Guy's Magorm is not an Elder Dragon. It's nothing. Alright, Guy's Magorm is not anything. Guy's Magorm is not anything. Well, it might be an Elder Dragon, but it's not an aerial Elder Dragon. It walks around on, on, its, on six legs. Not two item loadouts. Nope. Uh, equipment loadouts. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. All right. She changed the quest damsel. The Ash Demon of the Abyss. So a fairy tale demon is behind all this. But the story goes that when people's hearts are filled with darkness, it was surface to destroy them. Yeah, but we're not filled with darkness. Mm -hmm. You, all of the knights, all of the research team, everyone who's worked so hard to protect the kingdom. None of their hearts are filled with darkness. Nothing could be further from the truth. The kingdom has faith in you. The chevaliers after the de Ash Demon will be responsible for liaison with the surface, so you focus on the battle. Mm -hmm. I have faith in you. I know you will fulfill your duty, and I'll be waiting here for your safe return. <laughs> your safe return! <laughs> You assume I will return. That is a very interesting and bold assumption. A slay guys Magorm. Yawning Abyss. We can't bring followers. <laughs> We don't have followers. <laughs> okay, this is we're gonna have to fight this one fair and square. <laughs> uh, let's see how this goes. Shinga Kasanaru Tada Suki Narukoto ni Sugiz. Shiryo Kotsukushi. ここ深き者は吉兆に答えよ。Very cool. So it throws rocks. Right? Oh, Fiore. Well, at least Fiore is here. We have emergency fire casters. Very cool. They give you a snail. That's very interesting. I'm not sure why that would be useful. Or Roto is more useful. The snail is not very useful because you have to put it down and then hang around to get the healing. It's just not fast enough when you're being wrecked by a boss. What is this? What is this thing? What is this thing? What is this? 
Am I gonna need a signal? Okay. <clears throat> Can't be safe under these This can't be safe. Yeah. are safe, but you don't do very much damage. The front parts are dangerous, but you get more damage. Give that combo. <laughs> right, reset to wait, where's my emergency farcaster? <laughs> so I mean Doesn't do 
a hell of a lot of damage. The tip of the tail, I think.
uh, does the fire attack fight in the defense? Is the chest moving point? I can't tell what's going on. Okay, that's also an attack, alright. I'm not sure how you dodge any of this stuff. I guess you don't. I guess you're supposed to count it. It's 
But also, what's going on? <laughs> so, uh, ah, another Oroto here. Oh, cool, <laughs> thanks. Give me another one. <laughs> huh? Right, very cool, but I have no idea what's going on. Oh, 
りってこうあっこうやってピンポイントだ。
lie here for a while. Alright, now I get up. Finally, right at the very, very, very end, I actually managed to serene pose something and not get hit. <laughs> Take that, guys, McCall. <laughs> Spent the entire battle getting wrecked. At the very end, we made it. Why are there so many talents? Stuck me the same thing. Oh, well, there it is, guys. We're gone. Not too hard. I mean, it's it's big. Its attacks go everywhere. A lot of hits have multiple. Like a lot of attacks have multiple hits, so it's very hard to counter them without. Getting hit anyway. I guess if you get good, you, you'll figure it out. Uh, I'm not good, so. Oh. <laughs> Gonna find new hosts. Oh, really? 
帰るべき場所を失った果てか消えては結び帰るべきはいずこ王国に伝わる歌だまるでこのことを予見していたかのような。Hey, that whole sequence was very good. Right at the end, the curio, and then Guys McGon, pretty good. Great ending. Consumption Parasite, Wing Talons, Dragons, and we didn't have any wings. Not sure what that's about. Master Rank 6. And I believe that finishes the story. There's a lot of stuff after the story, of course. Uh, this is going to be a long video, that's fine. The grand finale of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It's <laughs> Very cool. Great game. I've always been a... Well, not always. Ever since I've played... My first Monster Hunter game was Monster Hunter 4 U. So that's, that's already 4. There's already been like 3 games before that. And by 3, I mean like... There's more than 3 before that. But 3 mainline games. The fourth one... I played Monster Hunter World, but on my old computer, which didn't quite have enough uh, graphics power to play it at proper frame rates. <laughs> so I played it at like low frame rates, and obviously that affects your hearts, right? But it was it was still good. It was still fun. I still enjoyed it. Uh, and now Monster Hunter Rise with a decent PC. And, you know, it's just good. It's just a good formula. It's a you, a weapon, a giant monster, and you're just slugging it out. Of course, there's a lot of, like, balancing. Um, like, the game design is is very well done. Like, there's a, there are a lot of weapons. We're, we're gonna use a longsword. There are a lot of weapons. They all play completely differently, and then there's a lot of monsters. Some of them are similar to each other, but they're quite different overall. And all of that is properly balanced. All of that works. Every weapon works against every monster. 
it was less so in earlier games. In earlier games, there would be some monsters where you, you use the wrong weapon and it's just hard. <laughs> you just don't, can't do it. Uh, but over time, you know, they've gotten better. Capcom makes this game. Over time, the, like, the game designers have gotten better at it. And now, every weapon works on every monster. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's, it's like a really good design. Really good game design. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I'll be honest though, before the end sequence, it dragged out a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, Master Rank 5 seemed a little bit long. Like you just slog, you get a, you do key quest, you go through an urgent mission, and then key quest, and then urgent mission. And then you get to like the, the classic Elder Dragons, Camellios, Kishana Diora, uh, the other guy, <laughs> Yostra. And then you kill two of those, and then the end sequence. Like that was a little long. But I think that was on purpose to set you up for the, the grand finale afterwards, right? And the final battle is a proper set piece battle. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 had more set piece battles. Monster Hunter World had fewer set-piece battles, curiously. And this also had fewer set-piece battles. By set-piece battle, I mean like a special arena and a special monster that is completely unlike all the others. I guess um, it's harder to make set-piece battles because you have to design, like it, you have, it's a custom design, whereas the other ones, like you have a map and you design, design the monster and it's kind of modular. No, actually, Monster Hunter Rise has fewer set piece battles. Just thinking about it. But, uh, not really complaining. It's one of these things that you kind of miss a little bit when it's not there. But when it's there, like the set piece battles, they're often quite like on rails. They're. Uh, there's like a set sequence of things you do, or. There's an optimal sequence of things you do. Or like if you have a special arena, then like you have, like it's, there's a specific thing that you have to do in the arena. And like when you're grinding them, it gets a little repetitive because it's like uh, it's there's less variety and there's less unpredictability than than the normal hunts. So like when you have them, you're like ah oh, this again. But then when they're not there, you're like, oh, I kind of miss them. <laughs> oh, I kind of miss the, the Monster Hunter 4 set piece battles. With the, uh, what's it called? Ah, I forgot their names. The big snake one. And then the big tar dragon one. <laughs> I forgot their names. Oh, and the big whale? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, they'd, they'd be like big elder dragons. And like it would be a special battle, a special arena, or like a special sequence. That's not like the others. Anyway, that, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, no, Monster Hunter. Like every Monster Hunter Rise is good, which is amazing. I mean, a lot of people. Who play Monster Hunter? They'll say, "Oh, my favorite was this other game, or oh, Monster Hunter World was better than Rise." No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Every single Monster Hunter game is really, really good. There's no bad Monster Hunter game. Isn't that crazy? There's no bad Monster Hunter game. And if you really enjoy one Monster Hunter game, you will enjoy the other Monster Hunter games. <laughs> if you somehow like one but not another, there's something weird about you because they're all. Monster Hunter games. <laughs> like, I don't understand the people who manage to dif differentiate between 
one Monster Hunter and another Monster Hunter. Yes, there are differences. The weapons are, are slightly different each time, and like the the monsters are slightly different each time. Like back in the world, back in Iceborne, there was the Clutch Claw, and now we have the Wire Bugs. Or, but then, you know, when, you, when it gets down to it, it's just you and a weapon and a monster, and the other stuff is that's not that's not the the the, 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 the key part. The key part is the monster hunting. And that is consistent in every Monster Hunter game. So the people who say they like one but not the other... I, I wonder about those people. I don't understand. I don't understand. What I do understand is... I like Monster Hunter. And this is a great Monster Hunter game. Every Monster Hunter game is a great Monster Hunter game. But this one... This one is a great Monster Hunter game. I can say that. <laughs> it's well balanced. It's engaging, like every every one is engaging. I wonder how they do it. I wonder how they make every monster hunt the game good. Because not a lot of game series can say that. A lot of game series, like, they make a good one, they make a bad one, and they make a good one, and they make a couple of bad ones. Not Monster Hunter, man. Not Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, every single one's good. <laughs> every single one is good. How do they do it? How do they do it? Another sunrise. You're welcome. No, thank you. Thank you for making a great game, Capcom. No, you. Okay, this has been a long video. Uh -huh. But I'm gonna keep it in one piece because it's the whole sequence, right? It's like the the afflicted um, Unagaron into the final battle. I'm gonna keep all this in one sequence. The sequence is like an hour long. <laughs> the the final sequence of I mean, if you count the Lunagaron as well. Admiral Gallius says, "Outstanding work, SCKC. Thanks to your help, the threat to the kingdom is no more." <laughs> There's still a lot of end game. There's still a lot of monster hunting to go. So Gallius is is full of crap here. <laughs> there are plenty more threats. I can tell you that. I want to express my gratitude too. I'm quite sure that without you, we wouldn't have made it through this. If you say so. You did all right as well, Fiore. I think you could have handled it. <laughs> but sure. The Curio have totally lost their host now. They should. They'll slowly die out or. They should, at least. Yeah, no, they gotta find another host. <laughs> Not overly convincing, Bahari. <laughs> but they are real pests, these Curio. We cannot rest until their threat has been completely eliminated. Oh yeah, good luck with that. Agreed. I mean, they sucked the life out of that Anginus. I guess it was some kind of homing instinct kicking in that made them so aggressive, but it could happen again. I hear that's all quiet in Kamura, SKC. <laughs> So I ask that you stay on here in Elgado if you don't mind. <laughs> I ask the same. Nothing gives me greater reassurance than having your skills to fall back on. Nope. Nope. No crutches, Fiorain. You need to walk without a crutch. You need to deal with these threats yourself. <laughs> no crutches allowed. <laughs> you stay? Wonderful. We're deeply indebted to you. I'm just here for the monster hunting. You have to hold yourself up. <laughs> oh. I believe Chiche has new quests that need your attention. Of course she does, Gallius. She always has new quests. <laughs> Don't worry, SKC. We'll keep watching the Curio. And with Team Elgado, the kingdom has never been safer. Alright, there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff going on. Look at all that stuff going on. Crazy. I'm gonna take a break here. 
when we come back, we get into the post game. Yeah, post game. The game doesn't end with the story. See you next time.